Yo guys, Superior David here, and today we are going to talk about the deck that I personally did best with day one, and that is Secret Paladin. Uh, this deck basically wants to cheat out secrets in the early game with the OPOP OP, Sword of the Fallen to uh, disrupt our opponent and like get a bit more value out of our secret synergy minions. And like this allows us to snowball and eventually like close out the game, like ideally with Burst from Conviction, uh, which has proven to be like quite powerful. Uh, but you know, if, if we need to go a longer game, that's totally cool. We've got McGurgle and Cannon Master Smythe to potentially like go wide out of nowhere, and then we also have the good old Kazak which, as I mentioned in my last video, is just absolutely nuts. Probably, like, one of the safest crafts in the game at the moment. Uh, as for the secrets we're running, I found this package of eight secrets total to be ideal. Uh, they all work, you know, like, pretty well together, and they're also just super annoying for your opponent to deal with. Uh, I did see some decks running, like, two copies of Reckoning on top of this, and, you know, that felt a bit excessive to me, so I, I recommend just sticking to these eight secrets. Now, the mulligan for this deck is super easy in that you always want the Sword of the Fallen. Like, you really feel it when you don't have the Sword of the Fallen. It's just so powerful. It gets secret secrets from your deck and it thins out your deck too and it's like overall busted because you could just get it down so early and then like if you have the sword then I'll also keep like Sun Reaver Spy and like Norwatch Commander because I have that like guaranteed like secret synergy value uh, other than that uh, I feel like you just keep the first day of school Righteous Protector and like Knight of Anointment just to like have something to do turn one that's not playing a secret which is something you really don't want to do with this deck and with that it's time for some good old superior gameplay so let me know down in the comments if you still have any questions about this deck and by now it should be no secret that you should like the video for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe so you could be superior. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and also putting up with my uh, corny jokes here. Uh, stay superior and I'll see you in the next one later. Oh, that's nice. You gave me a little smiley face. You, you don't need luck when you, when you get Sword of the Fallen on turn one, man. So it's just a matter of what mage deck is he playing. Is he playing uh, like a spell mage or a hero power mage? We'll know soon. Oh, Muhammad, not superior. I mean, hey, man, I appreciate the lurk. Oh, so he's playing like probably a hero power burn mage of some sort. So we're gonna go for this. I'm gonna play you. I could. He, I. I have avenge. It might have even been better to go for double one drop. Had I gone for double one drop and he killed something, I could have gotten the avenge off. Whoa. Um. Let's see. I have two, four, six, eight. So let's see. I, I'm gonna force the Omayog by playing this. And I think I'm just gonna just smack him in the face. Pixel, very superior, my man. The reason why I went for this play, I mean, he could have the. He, I mean, Demon likes to do weird techs. He could have that tech where like he he has he the minion that plays the secrets that your opponent has. That'd be very unfortunate for us. But my thing with this play is this minion is, is gonna be so tough to kill. Like I mean, oh my Yaga alone is just gonna protect it, and it's so early in the game, he's not gonna be able to do much. And if he ignores it and tries to like maybe like play the spring water card to draw stuff, um, he's just going to um, lose that. Whoa, D money! You knew that was gonna be Oh my Yag. Wow, that was unfortunate. That was that was most unfortunate. I'm gonna go for this first. You're almost a legend with Euro Power Watch Post Mage. Oh, you spicy boy. Tantar. Tantar, it's, it's been a minute, man. You gotta, you gotta step it up. <clears throat> if you wanna be superior. Which one's the one that dies in one hit? I probably just wanna play the, the Smythe here. I don't think we ever get punished. We could test, so we could just... It doesn't really matter. We'll just do it like that. All right, so it's the one that dies. That's okay. Yeah, Smythe on 5 seems pretty good. So he doesn't have to worry about secrets anymore. The art on these on these guys. Their hair. Super fly. Devolving missiles. Oh, shoot. Yeah, devolving would be sort of bad. We're fine. He never has devolving. And if he has devolving, these are... these. Th oh, well, that's annoying. That's quite annoying. That is quite annoying. So what does that tell us? If he, why do you trade that in? I go noble sa. Ugh, I don't have board space. Mmm, that's so annoying. I must move quickly. I 
Maybe I just play you. I mean, I feel like this board's just gonna die to flame strike anyways, but... So yeah, I'll go for the draw while I can. And like, next turn I could go like, first day of school, cheap stuff, prize plunder to kill this. Um, I don't think he plays C'Thun. Oh, he must be going for a Raz. He must... That's why he tried into this. He's gonna go Raz, like, lab partner or something. I, if, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why else he'd trade into this. It was just a very bizarre trade. Kael'thas? What? Who's playing Kael'thas right now? I forgot that Kael'thas was still around, man. I guess if there's enough zero mana spells, you can make Kael'thas good. I can take them. Wait, not all of them. Oh, that's what he was going for. He was hoping to get the wildfire. Oh, your opponent's name is Kael'thas. Man, that animation takes a real long time. Boom. We got him. Ugh. Okay. This is nine damage. Or I could just clear off the board. No, let's be greedy and take this damage face. Maybe play play this for like a five mana golem. I want to I want to go for the superior golem because I feel like that's what's expected from me. But I think that probably just going for a five mana golem, getting that down next turn, will probably be better. I like divine shield against mage. Um. Deal three damage to two random enemy minions. Or battle cry, draw two cards. I sort of like the card draw here, actually. Just because we're sort of low on cards. Which one is... Ugh, I can't see this. Avenge? This is Avenge. So let's actually... Oh god, I'm, I feel like I messed this turn up. I took way too long. You just found out that one of the golems, Balakrys, is to summon a copy. It is, and that's a really good one. I think I messed up that turn a bit. I took too long. And he's probably he might like flame strike this or something. I can't take him. Or he gives us that avenge value. This card's not so good if your hero power isn't upgraded. I think that's what we're learning right now. Because man, that was really good for us. Now we get to push more damage face. Wow. Who does that? Who does that to another person? Runs out on me. Ugh. Ugh. That's so bad for us. Mage secrets, man. Well, it's no more flame ward, so I mean... Just go face. Ice barrier. Okay, um... I sort of wish I went for the, the damage now. Let's draw some cards. So I went, uh, I haven't played anything yet. Dear God, I could go first day of school. Night of Anointment. Let's go for these. Oh, hold up. That's gonna be good next the next couple turns. I think I'm close enough to killing this, so I'm gonna do that. I'll probably be able to figure out the rest later. There we go. That's what I thought. I'm gonna get punished for not for not killing that, but I think I want to go face. Maybe I should have killed that actually. Is Pally the best deck you have seen so far? It's pretty good red cell. I think I may have messed that turn up. I probably should have killed the, the spell damage. But I'm like, okay, if he has like a... I feel like this one spell damage really doesn't do that much here. Spoken spoken too soon. 
Um, but Rats LSE, Pally's doing pretty well. Honestly, it's been the uh, watch post rogue that's been slaying it. That's sort of the deck to beat. Oh boy. That's okay. Because now this this gets avenged. If he has like another devolving missiles, that's a problem. But we could just like load this up next turn. So if he can't deal with this now, he is in trouble. This is 210. Not lethal. Not lethal. It's getting we're getting close though. We well, yeah, watch post rogue, man. It's legit. I think we can make this lethal. Yeah, this this will always pull conviction at this point. This is ten. Yeah, this is lethal. May the light grant you peace. Here we go. Oh, this is this is dirty. This is dirty. This is dirty. This is dirty. Oh man. Oh. That was so mean. I mean, maybe I... Or do, was I supposed to full mole for the sword? The sword's so good. I want a better one drop than this. Oh, dear God. That was so bad. The weapon's gonna be one, two. Well, see, the thing... This, the, the weapon's part of a cycle, though. So I don't know if they want to mess it up for the cycle. They, I mean, they probably would if it was too strong, you know? Oh, God. No, the weapon will go to three mana. I can't believe this weapon's two mana. It's actually ridiculous that it's at two mana. Like, just because he has this weapon, I could just lose this game. <laughs> what the heck was that? Got something to hide? What was that, guys? Yeah, I'll probably get nerfed to three man. I can see that. What if I don't attack? Because if it's Avenge... I'm not going to attack. I'm going to force the trades. Because little do they know, we have Broom, so we have Tempo in this matchup. Yeah, Hattrick, I agree. I probably shouldn't be a two mana card because, like, look, look at how powerful it is. You just coined that out turn one, and now we're, we're just constantly playing from behind. So this dude thinks he's safe right now, but he's not. Libra is probably still gonna be top tier. I could see it. I could see it for sure. So we go boom. Boom. Avenge? Okay. It's probably Oh My Yog and the Galloping Savior, right? It, we, yeah, we've, it's Oh My Yog and Galloping Savior. So if I play anything else, I, I proc the Galloping Savior, so I probably just go for this and force, like, I could take this trade. I could take this trade, but I could, like, how does he deal with this? You know, he's probably, this probably will, if I trade here, I'll probably force this trade. And I'll make the dude. Um, can you still run ooze? You can run ooze, skim guy, but I don't know. Like, when the weapon comes down turn two, you, you just gotta have ooze in the mulligan or else, like, it's just not good. So I feel like ooze wouldn't really do much against this deck. So that's his second avenge, I guess. Alright, let's see uh, what this is. You know, I feel like he seemed like it seemed like in his head face was the place. I don't necessarily think face was the place there. This will get us McGurgle Prime. That could be good. I mean, a little slow, but I think we'll be fine. Because he can't really do anything about this, you know? Imagine drawing your secrets as a paladin. Drawing secrets is for nerds. I mean, I think actually we are drawing a lot. We're, we're drawing all of our secrets. So I guess that means we're nerds. So, it's Avenge, Oh My Yag, and Galloping Savior. We know that for sure. So, we'll proc the Oh My Yag. Wait. Okay. Reckoning's just not... I mean, some people are. I don't think Reckoning... Reckoning's gonna be a meta call, you know? You don't just always pick Reckoning, you know? Honestly, we do this... We, we, we have, we forced the trades. I mean, let's see if this was Reckoning. He does run Reckoning! Wow! I feel like Reckoning's so bad. 
Like, if anything, him playing Reckoning just helped. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know about that, guys. Reckoning? Reckoning? Uh-oh. Now we're sort of in trouble. I mean, he could... I mean, no, 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 no. He, he... he, No, he probably doesn't trade into this. He probably just leaves it up. Because he has Avenge. So now we force... We trade this. So that's probably second Reckoning now. This dude drew all the secrets. Of course you could take a victory lap. Of course you can. Um, we go for this. We could get Lightning Bloom into McGurgle Prime. That'd be pretty good. Interesting. I right, avenge. Where does that go? Let's do this. Seems all right. I'll get the three four if I play anything else. I think that's okay. Oh shit! Oh, whoopsies. Okay, that didn't go too well. He's gonna play Kazakus here. Um, I, must move quickly. I actually can't. If I, I, I can't give him the three four because I give him nine damage. He's not gonna do anything. Or I go Noble Sack. No, no, I, I do this. I do this. I'm actually going to uh, play this now. Horse trades. I wanted to say that for McGurgle Prime, but I feel like. If I just let him go face, like, he has Kazak. I don't know what this is. It could, if it, I don't think it's going to be deal 3 damage. It's probably going to be, like, card draw or something. Or, like, copy. I feel like that's what he'd want to go for right now. Forcing trades. There we go. That's annoying because it gives him more sustain, but at the same time... Um... We get our McGurgle Prime down. Ooh, there we go. Give us the goods, McGurgle Prime. Yeah. <gasps> now that's a beast. Now that's a beast, chat. Look at that teacher's pet. Look at that teacher's pet. And now they ignore... Um, we, it's either Teacher's Pet or the Spectral Senior. I think we probably just go for the Senior because it's more. I mean, we're not, it's not looking good, but we could maybe deal with this a bit more. Let's see. Hmm. We'll start with this. Avenge, okay. Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that trade. No, we'll do it like this. That's friendly secrets. So we gotta do like, boom. We have to, we have to kill this. We play the spectral senior. Okay, we we play multiple secrets. I don't I don't, I don't know if you have seen double noble sack. No, he's seen double noble sack. Yes! That's a horrible top deck for him. Wait. Why didn't why did he trade this one one in? Oh, he's this dude was playing around Noble Sack, but little does this dude know, he already played around double noble sack, so I don't I don't he's already seen both noble sacks, I don't know why he did that. Uh worked out pretty well for us though. Um because now I think we just run away with this game. I guess last turn I could have gotten the righteous protector down, that might have been better, but I was pretty sure I was gonna be safe. Now we just uh, play Teacher's Pets. Honestly, we'll take this trade. Maybe I didn't even want... No, I shouldn't have killed that off. Because now I give him a Gurgle Primus and out. We just got to go face. I messed that up. I gave him the out. He saw both Noble Sacks. Yeah, man. He saw, he saw my Noble Sack. Oh, wow. There we go. Boom.
Get that. 